Hey everybody, good morning, evening, good night, or whatever, uh, when, whatever, you, whatever time of day you listen to this. Uh, on my end, it's 7:13 a.m. Sunday morning, and uh, I apologize in advance. I, I want to apologize now instead of saying "excuse me" every thousand times. Um, my, my voice sounds weird or hoarse or whatever. It just happens every once in a while, so I apologize for that. Um, today, as I record this, May 4th, 2008. Um, and as I said in my last my two cents uh, audio show, I don't, I don't want to call it video show no more because all it shows is one still picture. That's not really a video of my book. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's necessary for me to show my face on these uh, my two cents series. It's just me talking, nothing to see. Uh, nobody wants to look at me. So uh, anyway, uh, as I stated on my last. Uh, my two cents audio show, uh, audio blog. Um, May fifth is when I go back to school, and uh, my financial aid has gone through. And uh, usually, if a class is going to be canceled, I believe they call me on that week, on on the Friday or Thursday before school starts the following Monday, um, and let me know something. I have not been notified of anything uh, about any of my classes being canceled. So it looks like August will be the the month I graduate finally from TSDC. I've been there since September 2003. It is a two-year college. I should have finished in uh, December of five, but um, you know, stuff gets in the way. Life gets in the way. Part of it's my fault. Some of it's not. Some of it is a bunch of ridiculous stuff going on at TSDC. Another part of it is me taking summers off and slacking and uh, dropping classes here and there every once in a while. But um, this semester is going to be much different because if I want to graduate, I better not slack, period. And uh, so this semester is obviously going to be pretty much the hardest because uh, it's the final semester and i got five classes. So I'll be going to school full-time, 16 credit hours, um, and I'm only going to be working on the weekends. God forbid that Chili's needs me to work six days a week again. And because that's what caused me to drop school last time. And when my old job, Smoky Bones, shut down last summer, it shut down the, the very same weekend before school started. And I had to go. I got hired at Chili's the next week, and uh, my whole schedule, my whole world, my whole life, pretty much got flipped was upside down. And uh, you know, Smoky Bones, I had a set schedule to where I was going to be off on the weekdays and just work on the weekends because you know I had an internship class or actually that got dropped for a, a separate reason um, because that's a long story My, the employer wasn't there no more so they thought I should drop and try it again in the fall but I had other classes too and I had a lot of work to do and working six days a week I could not concentrate on, on that the only the hardest part of it was to have I didn't have time to study I didn't have time to do my homework and so I was getting behind and I was dealing with the stress of a new job, and I thought, you know, I can't be too picky about my schedule, so I better get, I better take whatever they give me. So, and they had to give me six days a week because I was the only buster pretty much at the time working there. I made a lot of money that time working for Chili's, but it caused me to drop my classes, and I could have graduated this past December if it hadn't have been for Darden shutting down Smoky Bones. But I don't blame them for doing that, and I'll get to Smoky Bones here in just a minute. Um, but anyway, August, it looks like this is it. And I'm not going to let any negativity neg, neg, uh, negativity enter my mind and say, Oh, you might not graduate. You might fail or drop or whatever. Blah, blah. No, no, no. I truly am going to believe uh, in God. And uh, th th it's going to help me get through this semester and graduate in August uh, to get my uh, Associates of Applied Science degree in web design. That's the official name for the degree. I just, just call it web design. Um, and so Monday, or tomorrow, May 5th, uh, is going to be not only the fourth year anniversary of SD2K, it's also going to be the beginning of the end of my college career. Um, so if I don't post that much on SD2K or any of my other chat groups, you know why. I'm going to be keeping busy. I appreciate it if uh, you guys keep me in your prayers and help me get through this semester. It's going to be a tough one. And uh, also pray that uh, I don't have to work on the weekdays, except every once in a while if someone needs me to pick up. But uh, even if that happens again, I'm not going to drop this time. I'm going to stick in there to the very end. 
and if God's will, I will graduate. And uh, I know God's not going to allow me to, to not going to give me something I can't handle. And I'm pretty sure I would have uh, passed last summer and uh, all my classes, but I did not just didn't want to hang in there. I just I gave up. You know, I tapped out. Uh, I just wanted to take a break from school and adapt to my new job at Chili's. And uh, my was my new job at the time, um, and so May fifth is the beginning of the end of my college career. I'm excited about it, but at the same time, a little bit nervous, which is normal. And I've been through a lot of ridiculous stuff at TSDC. It's not really an organized school. There's a lot of screw ups there, and and some teachers don't know what they're doing. Some people that work there don't really know what they're doing. But um, you know what? If it's God's will, I'm going to graduate. So I'm going to have to really uh, dedicate my life to school, mainly Monday through Thursday. There's nothing but school, homework, study, you know, go to classes and all that stuff. And uh, the weekends, I'm only going to have time for Chili's. Uh, I can't, you know, <clears throat> uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be my time dedicated to Chili's. And so, there you go. Um, so Monday uh, is when I start. Uh, the summer semester and then graduate sometime in August. So, uh, looking forward to finally getting out, getting the heck out of TSCC. My first three semesters was pretty good. It was pretty fun. Uh, a lot of my friends went there and I hung out with them between classes and the classes I had were pretty cool at first, you know, uh, HTML, Dreamweaver, uh, Photoshop, you know, the spring semester of 04 was pretty fun. Um, I've had much more fun TSCC though than ever did at MCC. So, um, and web design is much better, more fun to me, in my opinion. To me, it's more fun than computer science. So, uh, I failed out of MCC and I decided to go to TSCC and try something else, and here I am about to graduate. So, uh, first three semesters were pretty fun. After that, it got boring and ridiculous, but, um, uh, I did have some good times at TSCC. As much as bad things I said about it, I did have some good times, and so, I kind of want to uh, go out, go out with a bang, with a bang, and uh, my last semester make the best of it. Try to make it as fun as possible, and uh, so please keep me in your prayers, because I'm going to need it though to get through this semester, and uh, I, got, I got to make the most of it, you know. So there you go. Um, switching topics now to something else uh, that happened about a year ago. Uh, as I said, today is May 4th, 2008. A year ago, on May 4th, 2007, uh, not only was it the third year anniversary of SD2K, and not only, uh, yeah, not only was it the third year anniversary of SD2K, May 4th, 2007 was uh, the last shift of my job, Smoky Bones. Um, and little did I know walking in there that it was on a Friday little did I know when I walked in there that it was going to be my last shift until during the shift someone uh, let me know of it I remember going in there you know now it's no secret for those of you uh, who uh, works with me who's listening to this and works with me at Smoky Bones here in Waco Texas Smoky Bones is definitely not the most uh, successful restaurant in town um, it was just and in saying that it, it wasn't a quote unquote bad restaurant in my opinion uh, it was in a bad location and the fact that not to mention expensive uh, and the fact that it's a barbecue restaurant in Texas trying to compete with uh, Uncle Dan's and Rudy's even though Rudy's I think is kept alive by a rich owner who in, in which Rudy's is a gas station and a, and a, and a store and that's where the main income probably comes from I don't think it's an actual barbecue that keeps it alive but anyway, you know, Smoky Bones uh, barbecue restaurant, real tough to compete with, and it's in a horrible location, horrible. Um, to where not many travelers uh, that drive by the building on the, on the highway can easily enter uh, Smoky Bones. But anyway, um, I worked there almost from the very beginning until it shut down on, on May fifth, two thousand seven, um, and. You know, there was talk that it could probably shut down real soon because it doesn't draw enough business or whatever. But then there was talk about they're going to remodel it into this 
place called Rocky River Grill House, which is supposed to be a steakhouse slash Italian food place or something like that. I don't really remember. Uh, Darden was already uh, uh, remodeling some old Smoky, some Smoky Bones restaurants into that. And so I didn't think it was going to shut down anytime soon from what the impression we got. And all of a sudden, I walk in to Smoky Bones on May 4th, 2007. And I didn't really feel good. Sometimes I get, we all get headaches sometimes. And sometimes my headaches turn to migraines. And so uh, I didn't really feel good going in. And uh, so I was telling one of the managers, Dan, I said, if it's possible, as soon as it slows down tonight, you know, can you try to cut me a little bit earlier? He said, yeah, I'll try to get you out of here or, and all that stuff. So then uh, this one girl was expoing and uh, usually... And, and some of the terminology and stuff I'm going to talk about in this audio blog, you're probably not going to understand it. Only if you worked at Smoky Bones, you understand what I'm talking about. So, But the pur- the purpose of this audio blog is to get stuff off my chest. And I'm the only member of SC2K doing this. So remember, guys, you can do the same thing. Come on, I want y'all to say something. It'd be more interesting to hear what y'all have to say, not just me hearing myself all the time. But <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> at Smoky Bones, the only people that got to expo food are the trailblazers or the managers. So this one girl who uh, is neither one started expoing and I went up to her and I said, hey, uh, so what are you, a trailblazer now? And uh, she said, no, I just thought I expo my last day here. And I said, oh, are you quitting? Why, are you, are you finishing school? Are you going to another job? What's going on? And she goes, you, did, you don't know? You didn't hear? I said, no, what? She said, this is our last night. We're shutting down. This is our last night here. This is our last. Uh, this is our last shift. And I just and other people standing by was like, "Yeah, she's right. You know, yeah, yeah, she's telling the truth." I thought it was a joke at first, and then you know, a few seconds later, it started to sink in. And uh, she, she was telling me uh, that's why those guys are sitting over there with with the managers talking. They're here to talk about you know uh, that we're shutting down and that tomorrow we have a mandatory meeting. And when I first came in, I did see notes everywhere posted saying mandatory meeting tomorrow at 8.30. Now, I had worked that previous Monday, and I just did not see no notice, whatever. But if they have mandatory meetings, they usually tell us about three months, I mean three months, three weeks or four weeks in advance of uh, if we can have a meeting. This came out of nowhere. And I was talking to uh, this girl named Lindsay that worked there, and I said, man, they gave us plenty of time plenty of notice did they she's like yeah really but that, that's before I knew what it was about that's before I knew the place was shutting down and I guess Lindsay knew that I knew that the place was shutting down no I didn't until uh, until I was told by somebody um, and so it finally started to sink in and I mean I, don't, I mean yeah I'll admit it I'm, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to cry, I guess, because I'm, I'm not, not that I'm macho, but I don't know. A lot of us are embarrassed to cry. I didn't, want, I didn't cry in front of everybody, but I felt like it. And uh, I don't care who laughs or whatever. You know, uh, I'm a human. You know what I mean? I have, have feelings, especially when a job that you loved is shutting down out of nowhere. That hits you hard, and it hit me hard for a long time. It took me a while to really get over it. At Chili's, all I could talk about to my, my boss, Manny, who was the manager at Smoky Bones, uh, <clears throat> And he went to Chili's after that. I was talking to him about Smoky Bones a lot. And he was like, Ronnie, you and Smoky Bones. <laughs> and heck yeah, I mean, I like the job. You know, I was always treated good there. Uh, the management's pretty good there. Uh, I know not all the managers there were popular, past and present. But, I mean, I, I pretty much had a great time there since day one that I've been there. And uh, it hit me hard when I found out that they were shutting down. So I was busting tables. And my eyes wanted to, wanted to just feel like crying, but I just hung in there and tried to work and get my mind off of it. But you couldn't get your mind off of it, knowing your last shift. Uh, <clears throat> it was pretty hard to deal with. And uh, when the dishwashers didn't feel like working or closing that night, so he asked me, first he asked me, that's before I knew the place was shutting down, I said, no, nah, I don't really feel like closing the dish tonight, man. I was there to bus tables. And uh, I said, no, nah, man, I don't really feel like what, uh, closing dish tonight, man. I don't feel good. I'm going to get out of here as soon as possible. But when I found out that we were closing down, I, I changed my mind. I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and close dish for you tonight because I wanted to stay there as long as I could. 
and uh, <clears throat> before you know the last shift I'm going to work I want to stay there as long as I could and enjoy as much as I can because you know they didn't give us any notice it was a last minute notice and the reason why my boss Manny told me that is because if everybody knew ahead of time the place was going to shut down people would be stealing stuff left and right which is so true there was people stealing stuff on the on the the next day when we had the meeting and moving stuff out you know they're stealing a little bit of this and that an old camera was in the office for a long time when someone took it you know um, but so I stayed there and worked there and closed dish and uh, it's pretty sad <clears throat> the next morning May 5th uh, not only was it Cinco de Mayo uh, and the fourth year, the fourth year anniversary of SC2K um, you know Today, May 5th, or, or May 5th, 2008, would be the one-year anniversary that Smokey Bones officially shut down. Now, we already knew it going into the meeting. I, we weren't supposed to talk about it. I remember when I first heard about it, I talked to Dan in the office in private. I said, Dan, is, is it true that we're shutting down? He looked at me. He goes, you didn't hear it from me. Nobody was supposed to know that. I don't know how we knew it then if nobody's supposed to know. One of the managers had to leak it out. Probably the general manager Wayne leaked it out. He probably didn't care. Might as well know, I guess, you know. And <clears throat> the next morning, 8.30 in the morning, not only did we shut down 55 other locations, uh, 55, 55 or 56 other locations shut down as well. The same morning, having the same meeting and the same discussion that Smokey Bones is shutting down. And the general manager opened up the meeting saying uh, as all of you pretty much know by now uh, we're shutting down operations and all that etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, it's a real it was a real sad morning I mean there was lots of there's I don't know about lots of people but I know there's a select few uh, there's some people crying you know uh, the place is actually gonna shut down and I tell you man it, it hit me hard I mean I, I I was thankful to get a job a few days later but I mean, it hit me hard. I wasn't ready to quit this job. I had no intention of leaving anytime soon. Uh, I was enjoying the, my job there. And, and uh, the money wasn't the greatest in the world, but it wasn't the worst either. It got me by. And money is not all about money to me. Uh, but it just, it was real hard to deal with. And uh, <clears throat> now I realize it's a year later that this is happening. And it's been a rough year. I, when, that day Smoky Bone shut down, I, I don't want to say it changed my life or flip. It, it, it kind of flipped my life upside down, but uh, it didn't totally change it or anything. But then I started my job at Chili's a few days later. Uh, the boss, my boss that formerly worked at Smoky Bones, he, be, way before it shut down, he went to Chili's and he was there for a while. Um, he got me hooked up with a job up there. And to this day, I'm with the, uh, Chili's about a year later. I'm not too crazy about it. I don't hate the job, but I don't totally love it either. But I, I, it's okay. It's safe to say that I like it. I fairly like it. It's not Smoky Bones. It's not never going to be like the way Smoky Bones was as far as, to me, the the work environment that I worked in and the people I worked with and everything. Uh, but, yeah, it was real sad. Uh, it hit me hard for a long time. And it wasn't just the fact that it shut down. It, it, it screwed up my school schedule, as I explained earlier. And uh, it really, uh, so this past year has been a real roller coaster, uh, emotional ride, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and, you know, Archangel had a job that uh, uh, shut down on him not long ago. And he, he said there was people at his job crying and everything, how sad it was to shut down. And Angel was sad too. You know, he had to, he had to do stuff to get his mind off of it. And, you know, uh, not, not doing anything illegal or anything wrong, but you know, make a make a song on the on the computer or whatever he did. I forgot. We all have our ways of doing stuff to get stuff off our mind. And uh, but yeah, when I just realized now it's about a year a year ago that I started working at Chili's and when Smoky Bone shut down, and it took me a good while for it to really get over it. I mean, it hurt, it hit me hard for a long time, and nobody, I don't think anybody except. Uh, I don't think I would have told anybody this, but I told probably one person maybe. Uh, I've actually driven around the parking lot around the building. Uh, and they're just now remodeling the building now. To uh, I think it'll be a Mexican restaurant called Uncle Julio's something. Uh, 
Uh, at first, uh, it was going to Smoky Bones going to be reopened under different management, but I guess that got scratched. Um, and <clears throat> I wasn't going to be ha too, too happy about it because it wasn't going to be the same place. It was going to be different ownership, different management. So part of me wanted to go back there if it did reopen at Smoky Bones, but another part of me said, not a good idea. It's not going to be the same, Ronnie. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, but I didn't tell, I think I only told maybe one or two people this. I, when, I, when it first shut down, I would drive around the parking lot and circle the building just to look at it because I miss it so much. But this part right here, I never really told anybody. And people are going to probably think I'm crazy. But I actually went to the building one night, uh, late at night, probably 11 or 12. I got out, <clears throat> got out of my car and actually looked around the building, walked around the building. And uh, I went around the back door. And uh, where you, you ring the little doorbell to where somebody lets you in or somebody delivering uh, food or whatever, or, uh, inventory or, or delivers whatever for the restaurant and I rang the doorbell just for old time's sake <laughs> and uh, I was I was curious to see if the building was actually locked which it was so I couldn't walk in there and uh, the sign the door was still there the whole time saying smoky bone is shut down please visit our sister restaurants Red Lobster and Olive Garden uh, that's how much I missed the place and uh, I, smoky bones is the only job I've ever had that I never hated Actually, I worked at my first job, University High. Uh, I didn't like it when I first worked there. Then I started getting used to it. But as far as a restaurant job, uh, let's see. Texas Roadhouse, I hate it with a passion. Everybody knows that. Johnny Carino's, I liked it in the first three months. Then the last six months, I hated it. <clears throat> the Elite Circle Grill, I liked it for a year. Then the, after that year, it started really going downhill, and I hated it. That's Which is why I left and went to Smoky Bones. And while I was at Smoky Bones, I went to Rib Crib. Uh, I quit within a month because the money was ridiculous. I should have made sure of the money first. And the rules and stuff there and, and the dishwashing machine, how it operated and, and how it slowed us down. It may sound like dumb reasons why I left, but trust me, if you were there and did what I did, you would leave too. It was ridiculous. And, and some of the pe people had to put up with in their slack. <coughs> uh, Rib Crib was horrible. And I'm surprised they're not shut down. If, and they're not shut down already. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Smoky Bones is a much better restaurant than Rib Crib ever dream of being, probably. Rib Crib is probably owned. It can stay open for as long as it wants. Darden, Darden owns Smoky Bones. And if you're part of a big corporation and you're not making the money, they're going to shut you down. It makes sense. So I can't blame Darden for what they did. But uh, I'm telling you, Smoky Bones uh, was the only job, the restaurant job, the only job I had, I worked at Sonic too, but about a month, that was a long time ago, after my custodian job at University High, about a month or two months, I worked at Sonic, the money was ridiculous, I was getting hardly anything for myself, so I quit, and, uh, but Smoky Bones is pretty much a job, the only job I ever had that I never hated, that I never said, that's it, I want to quit this place, I'm out of here, no, it was never like that, and then all of a sudden, when it gets pulled up, uh, the rug gets pulled out from under you all of a sudden, you know, and, uh, the job you love shuts down it hurts you it hits you hard so uh that happened about a year ago now and so it's been kind of a long year for me but i made a lot of money during the summer at chili's and uh i prayed real carefully that night i knew we were shutting down i said god where should i go next where should i go next and all i could feel in my heart is chili's 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 so i've been there ever since then and god's blessed me with a a, a pretty good job I don't hate the job. I don't love it either, but I like it. And uh, for the most part, I've been treated pretty good there. Uh, so I can't complain too much about Chili's. So anyway, uh, you know, May 5th, 2007, you know, that day they officially announced Smoky Bones are shutting down. They had managers from Red Lobster and Olive Garden there uh, interviewing people if you want to go there. but Or you could take the two-week severance paycheck and go to another corporation. However, if we did that, uh, I think we couldn't uh, apply at a Darden restaurant for another three months. So I took the severance paycheck because I had a feeling, you know, God was telling me, hey, go to Chili's. So I went to Chili's and uh, two or three days after Smoky Bone shut down, I got hired at Chili's. So there you go. I'm still there to this day. If it had my way, I'd be at Smoky Bone still. But God's ways are higher and better than our, our ways. 
So when stu something happens in your life that you don't agree with, you just uh, gotta handle it the right way. And God help me to get through it the right way, because without Him, uh, and I, I just don't want to know what happened. But uh, there you go. Oh, and what what was really frustrating about another frustrating thing about Smokey Bone shutting down was that three weeks before it shut down, I got a one dollar raise. What happens? Smokey Bone shuts down. So that was a little frustrating, but at least I got to enjoy my raise for about three weeks. So there you go. Well, that's my two cents uh, on this edition. Uh, and this is the longest running two, my two cents audio blog I have done so far. I broke my last week's record. And I'm sorry if this went too long and you're getting restless sitting here listening to it. I apologize for that. I don't mean for it to go this long, but hey, you know, uh, when you got something to say, you got something to say. And sometimes you got a lot to say. And if you don't like it, hey, you don't have to listen. I didn't put a gun to your head and make you listen to this. So, uh, but I do thank you for the three people that have listened. Uh, want to thank you for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. And I want, once again, you guys in SC2K, put your own video blog or audio blog up. Why am I the only one doing this? Come on, it'd be more fun if other people do this. Come on now. I don't want to do this just to hear myself talk. You know, I want other people to hear me talk. So, anyway, uh, tomorrow I'll start school. And, uh, work toward August to graduate so uh, once again please keep me in prayer because we're going to need it and uh, until next time this is Ron Moore for the uh, SC2K for those of you who are not a member of SC2K check out SC2K.org that's on your screen right there and uh, God bless y'all and take care